Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another very exciting video tutorial. This is part 2 of Make a Drawing Ad. So as you can see, uh, I've improved the user interface. So we have a reset, save, erase settings page and some color presets. Currently, only the color presets and the reset will work. But don't worry, in the part 3, we are going to make the save, erase and these gear icon work. So how, how does the color presets work? So you tap on the button and it changes color. And when you click on this button, reset. Boom. This is what you are going to do in this tutorial. I hope you are as excited as I am. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so right here now, I'm on my main dot storyboard file. But before I proceed on, I just want you to know that there are various resources that I have designed for this drawing application. And to get these resources, go to the project GitHub link and download the project and get these assets out and then uh, drag this into your assets. Okay, so once you have dragged in the assets from the project GitHub link, you are ready to proceed on to the tutorial. Now head into your main doc storyboard and we are going to drag a button. I'm going to give this an image of red and erase the text. Next, I'm going to click on this ruler over here and change the width to 38 the, and the height 38 as well. So now it's just a cute little square. And now what you want to do is to duplicate it by Command C to copy it and Command V to paste it. You want to do this a couple of times. In total, you want to do it 8 times. It doesn't really matter uh, what order you place them in. So that we have 8 of them. Click on this button, holding down Shift, you're going to click the button over here. Then, you're going to click on, the, on this uh, square with some lines. And give all these eight buttons a fixed width and fixed height. Next, you're gonna stack all of them together and give them a spacing of five. Next, you wanna pin them from the bottom because we want them to be pinned down, I mean, yeah, pinned down eight from the bottom regardless of the screen size. Then you want it to center it horizontally in the container. Boom, you're done. What's left is to click on the stack view and update the frames. Now click on the second one and change this to green. Change this to blue. Change this to pink. Yellow. Teal. White and black. Now, drag another button, but this time in somewhere around the top left corner of the view controller. Erase the text and give this an image of reset icon. Make this the size of, of the width should be 42 and the height should be 43. Just expand it a little bit so that it looks Nice. Now, Command C, Command V to uh, duplicate it. Do this three times so that you have four buttons. And let's change the image. Click on the second button over here and change the image to save. Change this to eraser and change this to the settings, I mean the gear. So essentially, this will allow the user to reset this drawing. This will allow the user to save his drawing. This will allow the user to erase his drawing, uh, similar to this white color preset. And this will redirect the user to a settings view controller, which they can customize the colors, brush size, and opacity. Now click all of them and give them a fixed width and height. 
mix, stack all of them together, like how you stack all these colors. Give them a spacing of 35. Give them from the top and align them horizontally in the container. Boom. What's left is to click on the stack view and update frames. Okay, so now that we're done organizing the layout of our drawing application, what I'm going to do is to connect these visual elements to our code to make them do something. In this video, we're just going to focus on the reset and the color presets. So I'm going to click on the reset button and drag it. Make sure to change this to an action and call this reset. Next, I want to click on this red and drag here. And I am going to call this colors picked. And make sure to change this to an action as well. And we're going to click, take all of this button and connect to the same IB action because it will be extremely inefficient if we were to tie up each button to each individual IB action. That would be extremely inefficient. Okay, so now that we're done connecting the IB outlets, I forgot one thing, which is we're supposed to click and, uh, for example, the red button, I mean the green button, and then you want to change the tag to 1. Change the tag of this to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The number tag will allow us to distinguish between the buttons that were tapped. Heading back to your view controller.swift, you're going to create three new variables. So first we're going to create red, which will be of type CD float, and we set that to 0, 0.0. Then we have green. And last but not least, we want blue. Then, I want to head into my context.set stroke color and change this to red, green, and blue. Now, in the reset button, to actually reset the user's drawing is actually one line of code only. It's really simple. So, dot image view dot image equals nil. That's all you need to reset the user's drawing. If you don't believe me, you can build and run it which I am going to demonstrate right now. And for some reason, it's really small. Uh, we just scale 100%. Okay, so if I was, for example, if I draw this and I click reset, boom, all of them are gone. Now I'm going to quit the simulator and implement the color presets. So I'm going to say if sender dot tag equals to zero, which means the color picked is was red. Then we want red, green, blue equals one zero zero since the color would be red. Similarly else if sender dot tag is equal to one green, blue is equal to 0, 1, 0, which means there will be no red and no blue, but there will be a value of green, which will produce a color of green. So you want to keep doing this for all the remaining colors, which I am going to speed up in this video tutorial. Okay, so now that I'm done writing all this code, let me just uh, quickly go through the code that I've just written. So if center attack is equal to zero, and in this case, the button over here, the only button with the number tag of zero is red. Hence, we set uh, the green and blue to zero and red to one. Same thing for the rest of the uh, center.txt. So in this case, this would be green, so 
then hence there is a value of 1 over here, but 0, 0. This will be a blue, so 0, 0, 1, so that there will be one blue and no green and no red. So same with the other, it's just a combination of red and green and blue. So, let's try and run our drawing application. Okay, so by default, it's black, but if I click on the red, boom, green, boom, blue, pink, yellow, teal, black, and white, pretty obvious. Okay, so now that we're done uh, implementing the reset functionality and color presets, we can make a part 3 of this video tutorial which uh, would consist of how to save the drawing, I mean this drawing to your user's photo album, how to erase, and we set up the first prototype of the settings view controller. Congratulations for making it to the end of this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I do making this video tutorial. As usual, thanks for checking out my tutorial. This is Ben. Peace out.